Well, we also have an update on a story that we first told you about last night here on Channel 2. The Buffalo Diocese is taking steps now to alleviate flooding at one of its cemeteries. This after we received a tip from a viewer that dozens of graves in St. Adelbert's and Cheektowaga were underwater. Channel 2's Jeff Preval tells us what action the cemetery has now taken. Jeff? God, well, the director of cemeteries for the diocese says that uh, flood water was pumped out of St. Adalbert's this morning, but there are some new concerns about a possible drainage issue at another Catholic cemetery. So it's a concern. It's disturbing. Pamela Rawson was shocked when she saw this yesterday, part of St. Adalbert's Cemetery underwater. She was just coming here to once again pay respects to family members who are buried here, such as her parents and grandparents. But that wasn't possible because of all this water. The maintenance overall of the cemetery has declined in recent years. It's disrespectful. It's unnecessary. If there's a problem, it can probably be repaired. For the past two days, two on your side has been asking the Buffalo Diocese how did this happen and what can be done to fix it? The director of cemeteries, Michael Atea, who did not want to go on camera, told me by phone that since this part of St. Adalbert's is a low-lying area, rainwater from over the weekend accumulated here and that somehow debris blocked a drain near a pump station on site. That pump station is supposed to automatically pump out water. Atea says he and a couple other workers pumped out the cemetery this morning. We went back to St. Adalbert's today and still found some ponding, but a lot less water than before. Kathy Birch of Getzville saw our story from last night and told us about a possible drainage issue at the other St. Adalbert Cemetery in Lancaster. Birch has loved ones here, including her parents. But instead of peacefully paying her respects, she has to deal with this soggy mess. I get disgusted because uh, it, it, nobody's loved ones should be buried underwater. It's been very wet every almost every single time unless buffalo is going through a drought season birch would like to see some sort of drainage system put in here the director of cemetery says he will have to look into this issue to see what can be done and the cemetery says at the very least new topsoil and grass could be put in but that wouldn't happen until the spring at the earliest will certainly stay on top of all this for you and let you know of any issues and any progress at either cemetery. I'm Jeff Perval, Channel 2 News. Jeff, thank you. Once again, this story came to us from our tip line. If there's something you'd like us to look into, you can get in touch with us anytime. Just reach out, out on social media or you can use the information that you see right there on your screen.